Hello everyone, I'm running back again, chapter 4-2, we just got done with the Vertigo boss fight. Um, that last chapter was pretty lengthy, so on to 4-2, I don't think this will be as long, and I'm kind of going to do a cheap play here, because there's going to be a boss fight here, it's not so much challenging, but really just fucking frustrating as fuck to do. It's basically going to be uh, two of the Ajantes, or whatever, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Basically, they're going to be in a really shitty ass area, and I don't know if I'll waste time with it, or maybe just fuck it, I'll just do it right here, just get rid of fucking rocket launcher. I won't post it, I'll just kill the thing normally. Is that all? Probably someone is pissed off, like, why you fucking spoil it, man? Seriously, is there anybody who is, if there's anybody watching this Let's Play has not played this game, go out there, get a micro, you know, or Microsoft points card, or go get a Xbox PlayStation Network card. Xbox, that said Xbox PlayStation Network. Yeah, I did. Get a PlayStation Network card or some shit, I'm not really sure how they do it over there. You've got to be kidding me. And go spend the 20 bucks and get this fucking game. Because it's seriously one of the best games made in, in the last decade. If it wasn't for this game, Gears of War probably would not be the way it is. There would be no Death Space. This game changed up a lot of shit. When it comes to this combat, camera angle, and, you know. This, I think this is really the first game to kind of the over-the-shoulder kind of visual or kind of camera angle. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is um, the case. Ooh, shit. They go out there and spend the 20 bucks, you know, get the HD version, because they come, you know, I guess you could get it on, you know, GameCube, PlayStation 2, or Wii, or whatever, but get the HD version on Xbox and PlayStation 3. And just, you know, I mean, it's a great game. And of course, I got. I have a friend. You know, I have a friend who I used to be best friends with in high school who refuses to play this game because it's too scary. Like, if there's any game that's like somewhat horrorish, he won't play it at all. I was, you know. I mean, this game's got moments where I'll kind of make you go, kind of make you kind of like clench your butt up a little bit. Best way I can describe it. They kind of make you, ooh, wow. Damn, they fucking blew up. But this game is it's not scary at all. I mean, it has its moments where you kind of get eerie feelings. You'll know, have like a couple of jumps, but I want to call it scary. It's not slender scary at all. Speaking of Slender Scary, um, the guy who uh, made this game, the original Resident Evil, is working with Bethesda to make a kind of like a horror game kind of like this. It's kind of a mixture of Resident Evil 4 and the older Silent Hills, and it's called The um, Evil Within. And if what they're saying about it is true, it might end up being better in this game. Which I'm sure I'm hoping so. Wow. <laughs> I was fucking dumb. The Evil Within, if it turns out being the way they're saying it's going to be, it's going to be really good. I mean, I mean, if you can constantly compare games to like, this game's going to be kind of like Resident Evil 4. You know, that's good. Trust me, you won't be like Resident Evil 4. You do not want to be Resident Evil 6. God, Resident Evil 6 fucking sucks. I can't believe how badly they fucked that game up. I mean, RE5 wasn't necessarily my favorite Resident Evil, but it was it was a really good co-op game. It was really fun. But, man, RE6 fucking blows. Fucking Hari 6. 
terrible. Alright, let's go get this damn dynamite off this little fucking finger. From what I'm hearing, every time will be a Resident Evil 7. You're talking about they might reboot the whole franchise, which. I don't know. I mean, they really kind of. They really fucked up of RE6. And you know, there are some people who like it. And I can kind of see why people would like it. I'll probably get away from this thing before it blows up. But. It's this. Compared to RE4 and RE5, it's not that good of a game. And so fucking. They overdone. Overdid the cinematic part of it so damn much. It's just. It feels like. Then you got so many damn quick time events. I mean, this one. I, like, if you think the quick time events on this game are bad, play RE6. Half the damn game is fucking quick time events. I mean, you're not even playing the majority of the time. You're just spamming fucking AEX, triggers, whatever. And I guess the point, like, you take away so much damn control away from the player. Like, are they actually even playing the game anymore? I mean, you want to use quick time events to dodge. And a couple of stuff with cutscenes, that's alright. But when you're had the game is fucking quick time and it's a fucking blows. Oh no, my toe is hanging over the ledge, I'm dead. And of course this uh, motherfucker here, you really need to stay away from him because he will swat through the fucking floor there. You gotta wait for that thing to close. Okay, what kind of grenades I got? Get time to use the TMP to close them. Things got really high damage for a second. Kind of might have like Borderlands kind of like hit points pop up. Wow! Holy shit! He's you see him how fucked up his skin was from being the uh, a lot. Of, why don't we on top of some kind of like active volcano? This is like everything's on top up here. Yeah, Delano, roll back into the guy. This is dumb. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh. Ow. You think that would probably be an instant kill? Maybe I can shoot him no time to head his brain will turn to mush, but don't work that way. Come on down, here we go. A or X? X. Uh, if you hit the wrong button while you're cutting him up like that, he'll throw you off. Still alive? Yep. Uh, wow, how close. Oh shit. Get out, get out, get out. Hits me again, I'm gonna use the first A spray. Actually, I think the third time here might be the charm, this might end up killing him. Alright, you did. Get the fuck out of the way because he's gonna try to fall on top of me. All right. I think there's a glitch. They might fix it on the Xbox version of this. I'm not 100% sure where you can um, get the money back from the first El Jante fell into the lava pit. Let's see if they did it or not. I think they might fix this. There. No, it's gone. Oh, fuck. Cause I know on the GameCube version, if you. Uh, Kill the first one goes in the pit. Once you exit the room and re come back into it, the money will be there. Oh well. Uh, 
Let's see. I guess I'm going to use a shotgun. Now this shotgun is a uh, besides being a huge ammo, you know, you get a lot more ammo out of it. This one has it where it's got a bit of a wider shot. And once you get to this thing upgraded quite a bit, I mean it it has a lot of fucking power to it. I'm about to get out of this room. I gotta activate these two light switches. And you'll see what to do once I get all this shit activated. Like, I don't understand why they give the option. You don't press this, and like, why not? Like, there's nothing, nothing bad going to happen to me. Like, I think in the old Resident Evils where that shit could happen to you. Come on. Yeah, three. We got blue. Fucking so loud. Ooh, that was close. Seems like a laser pointer wasn't flashing up on him. I wasn't. I wasn't getting the dot for him. So I thought he was dead. Oh, this is a bad time to reload. Kick, 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 kick. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm spamming fucking x -Men. I'm gonna guess won't do it during reload animation. Oh, crap. Try running past and that did not work. Shit, 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 shit. I kinda of like the them dying in sync with the shards for great. Time is hitting dying. It's awesome when you get like a group of three or four of them, you shoot them all at once and they all they go down like at the same time. It gets a really weird flange effect with our sound. Is that TMP ammo? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's like a grenade I can use. Haha, <laughs> kick them into the grenade. Ow, oh, what the fuck I have to guide them for? Oh man, that fucker was hauling ass to get me. Turn two light switches on, they all go in the mirror. Bounces off the mirror. And it somehow burns its way through that. The thing you see on the GameCube version, due to the low resolution, it looks like it looks so much better, but when you get on the HD version of this, it looks like shit. It's kind of funny how, like, on the old games, like, there's some kind of like, graphical tricks you can do with the game to make it look good. Because the resolution, that being a load, you can hide hide it with it. I don't know, here you can kind of see where they kind of fuck up at. Of course, a vast majority of these games, they look so much better in HD. But, you know, there's some stuff that's definitely not meant for HD. Like, I think I heard, of course, I've never watched the movie Pearl Harbor. But I've heard like if you watch it in HD, like the special effects in it look fucking terrible. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get the um whatever the other jewels get today. I haven't found them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell that off. Ooh, red her grab that. Oh crap oh no. Fucking cute to my ass. Like nasty shit. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna make it. <laughs> oh, at least they uh, 
Then him put me back to the floor. I honestly thought I was gonna make it and I just got fucking crushed. Okay, I'll take my time here. It's not the dumbest way to fucking die. I got these fucking pillars just slamming the ground like they're running underneath them and just get crushed to death. This is fucking stupid. I think this is in chapter 4 too. Yep. Alright guys, I'll catch you all in the next video.